I'm back. So today we're gonna discuss about one of the most confusing elements in English grammar. Guess what? I'll tell you. It's nothing but the articles. So first of all, let me tell you about what is an article. Basically, an article is an adjective. Like adjectives, articles also modify the nouns. Up in the class, we'll discuss the English grammar. We'll discuss the articles. What are the articles? We'll discuss the adjectives. Adjectives are the same as 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 the Articles are mainly used in two cases. The first is when used with a plural noun and the second is when used with a singular noun. In total, there are three articles. They are a and the. English articles are plural nouns in the article. Singular noun in the article. Plural noun and the Varnayanal, only a quarter the noun of Leano Deshkinada. Singular noun and the Varnalo, or a noun in a matra marki mado Deshkinada. Upon Motatil, English le moon articles and another, a and the articles here the canon number particello, in an umka, a thing in Obiokan and the good in the noca. Now let's take a look at when, where, and how to use articles in a particular sentence. So, friends. I'll give you seven golden rules that will help you to know more about the usage of articles in our speech. Okay, so the first rule is all about where to use the article A and the article N in a sentence. So all you have to do is use A before a consonant sound and N before a vowel sound. Aditha rule is called the article side of the A and the article side of Consonant sound to which you are going to do is to article A. Consonant is the same as the alphabet. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. This is the alphabet. The alphabet is the same as the consonant sound. The consonant sound is the same as the consonant sound. The and in the article on the number of your candidate. Upon Amaka, Adina Korcha, examples of good and Okay, so here we're given two sets of words. All you have to do is just think and tell which article in A or N will be coming in front of each and every word given here. Let's start with the left side first. The first word is cat. Cat starts with the sound k which is a consonant sound. So, the article that comes in front of the word cat is a or a. So, we tell that a cat or a cat. The second word is engineer, which starts with the vowel sound a. We don't say engineer. We say engineer, which starts with the vowel sound a. So, the article that comes in front of the word engineer is an. An engineer. The third word here is girl. The word girl starts with a consonant sound g. So the article that comes in front of this word is a. So we call it a girl or a girl. The next word given here is apple. The word apple starts with a vowel sound a. So the article that comes in front of this word is an. So we call it an apple. The next word given here is ice cream. The word ice cream starts with the vowel sound i. So the article that comes in front of this word is an. So we call it an ice cream. The sixth word given here is tree. The word tree starts with a consonant sound t. So the article that comes in front of this word is a or a. So we call it a tree or a tree. Okay, now let's move on to the right side. The first word given is dark. The word dark starts with a consonant sound, d. So the article that comes in front of this word is a. So we call it a dark. 
The next word is boy. The word boy starts with the consonant sound b. So the article that comes in front of this word is a. So we call it a boy. The next word is egg. The word egg starts with the vowel sound a. So the article that comes in front of this word is an. So we call it an egg. The next word is home. The word home starts with a consonant sound h. So the article that comes in front of this word is a. So we call it a home. The next word given here is ostrich. The word ostrich starts with a vowel sound o. So the article that will come in front of this word is an. So we call it an ostrich. The last word elephant starts with a vowel sound a. So the article that will come in front of it is an. So we call it an elephant. So I hope you understood our first rule of using a in front of a consonant sound and an before a vowel sound. Apa ninggal kalau ada kum, ada itu rolnya pati mansel ayat ni yang mesti sikit no. Ada itu rolan dia rono a yang dia baca na artikel consonant sound baca dorang guna waki ni monilum. Ada bola tu ni an yang dia artikel vowel sound baca dorang guna waki ni monilum. Ubi oki a yang dia dah rono. Okay, so now I'm gonna give a small set of words for you to tell which article in A or N will come in front of these words. Just like what we did earlier. But I'm giving these words for you only because it is a little bit tricky when we try to talk about them. Namakini, Korchivetka Sarita Vakara Gurinoka. Sam Sarika Sameta, A the article Anna, E or Vakina Munilo Bioikana, in the number confusion and lakana Korchivakarana, E Karana. The first word, university. Which article in A or N will come in front of this word? I'll tell you. The word university starts with a consonant sound. Don't get confused. Don't ever think that if a word starts with a vowel letter, the article that will come in front of it will be N. Don't ever think that. The article N would come in front of a word only if that word starts with a vowel sound and not a vowel letter. Always try to memorize that. If a word starts with a vowel letter, nobody can assure that the article that would come in front of that word will be an. It is completely wrong. Always try to memorize that. Only if a word starts with a vowel sound, the article that would come in front of it will be an. Here, the word university starts with a consonant sound and a vowel letter. It starts with a vowel letter U and a consonant sound Y. Y is a consonant sound and not a vowel sound. So, the article that comes in front of it is A. Adita vakaya university. University and the vaka dharanga dha or vowel letter vachitana. Ale, in the vache, a vaka na munil article adla an an vare under the inundo. Urikilamilla, karanam. Uruvakinamunil article idla and verana mingil. Avakanamal uchurichu dog another. Uruvavel sound to a chitarigram. Ada either University in the Vakina Gaidilangil. Evaka to another than a consonant sound dia. Yer vachitana. Ada either. Other vowel sound to a chitala to another than a man slacana. A pendu bioikinam. Avakinamunil article idla. A ano bioikanada. Apanamula, a pur malo chirikanda uricariolo. Uruvaka, other vowel letter which I caught a consonant letter which I caught a to another. Paksa itu ceri ceri orang orang itu, vowel sound itu ceri orang inggil, adine monyel artikel ayat la anum, consonant sound itu ceri orang itu ceri ceri orang itu inggil, adine monyel artikel ayat la ayu mana ubi oke anada. The second word, hour. When you try to pronounce this word, always remember the first letter H is silent here. So when we try to pronounce it, it comes out like hour. So even though the first letter is a consonant letter, the first sound is a vowel sound. So the article that comes in front of this word is an. So we call it an hour. Add the vacuum or another hour. Hour and the word in the vacuum will put much like most of the can other. If you left add the letter right la etch a perm silent item. Up in the pronouncing in the summit the hour in the manner pronouncing. Apo starting sound in the word another or vowel sound either one of the name other name will an in the article item with a up in the middle of the name and our the third one. M A in English. 
In this case, we just need to focus on MA, not in English. Don't bother about which letter the word English starts with or which sound the word English starts with. Always look which sound MA starts with. It starts with A sound. It is a vowel sound. So, the article that will come in front of this is N. So, we call it an MA in English. Munamit example adla MA in English. Here example number Shadikanada English in the Vakinella. At either English in the Vaka, either letter or Chodono, Alangle sound or Chodono, and the Lona la Pratanim. Number Shadikanada MA lana. MA in the Varana Thorang another, or consider that right la M or Chitana. Alla. In either Thorangana sound a diricum. M in the Thoraka the sound a. Other vowel sound analo. Apo vowel sound which are another vacuum unil, namely the article and obey another. An. Upon the Malaparimbo, an M A in English. In the Anna Paran. Ide method, Ada the number M make a munil article obeocha, Ide method. Namaka initial lessons in him, Adbola than abbreviations in your component, article Cherkana to be okay. Initial lessons um abbreviations who can then nurture in all. Or example at Varangel, CD. CD in the Varana Vaka, Randakshereolo, Alle. Pakshe, I do original pair adano, Alla. Combat disc in the Varana, number Elpatil Varam and two, Ubiokina, or the term initialism, along the abbreviation on CD. Combat in the CM, disc in the D. Gurisartola, Maturu Vaka. That's why we have to say that we have short forms and abbreviations and initialisms. Now, we have to say that 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 varies according to the starting sound of the particular abbreviation or initialism. So let's look at some examples of them. The first abbreviation we have here is DVD. The starting sound of DVD is D. So the article that will come in front of it is A. So we call it A DVD. The full form of DVD is Digital Recital Disc. The second abbreviation given here is CD. As I told you, the full form of CD is compact disc. The starting sound of CD is S. As it is a consonant sound, the article that will come in front of it is A. So we call it ACD. The third abbreviation we have here is ATM. As the starting sound of ATM is A, the article that will come in front of it will be N. So we call it an ATM. The full form of ATM is Automated Teller Machine. Coming back to our tricky questions, our last question, European tour. The word European starts with a vowel letter E and a consonant sound Y. So, the article that will come in front of it will be A. So, we call it a European tour. Now, let's move on to our second rule. Use A or N only with countable nouns. Second rule in the word is article side is A and N. Countable idler nouns in the code matram ubiyoikiga in the dana. A noun becomes countable when we can just add them or count them like 1, 2, 3, etc. Countable and namaka any edukan karin atrem in the anartha. All these words you can see on the screen are countable nouns, which means you may have understood. We can tell two cars, three houses, five elephants, etc. etc. If you are talking about one person or thing, it is called a singular noun, which means, for example, one girl, one boy, one ice cream, one elephant, etc. And if you are talking about one or more people at a time or one or more things at a time, it is called a plural noun, which means, for example, two girls, four boys, six elephants, seven onions, etc. Words that you can see now on the screen are uncountable nouns. Uncountable means something that we can't count. For example, all these words given on the screen are uncountable nouns. Water, sugar, salt, love, air, beauty, anger, knowledge. We can't just count them. We can't say four waters, five sugar, or one love, etc. That doesn't even make any sense. So, the things that we can't count is known as uncountable nouns. 
and using the articles a or an before such uncountable nouns are completely meaningless. We should not use those articles like that. And always remember that use the articles a or an only with a singular countable noun. And now let's move on to the third rule. Use a or an to talk about a person or thing unknown to your listener. And use the to talk about a person or thing known to your listener. നിങ്ങൾ ആരെ കുറിച്ചാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്തിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് പറയുന്നത് എന്ന് നിങ്ങളെ കേൾക്കുന്ന ആൾക്ക് അറിയില്ലെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അയാൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു കാര്യത്തെ കുറിച്ച് കേൾക്കുന്നത് എങ്കിൽ ആർട്ടിക്കൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള എ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആൻ ആണ് ആ നോണിന് മുന്നിലായിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കേണ്ടത് ഇനി അതല്ലാതെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് രണ്ടുപേർക്കും ഒരുപോലെ അറിയാവുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് നിങ്ങൾ പറയുന്നത് എങ്കിൽ ആ നോണിന് മുന്നിലായിട്ട് ആർട്ടിക്കൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ദ ആണ് ഉപയോഗിക്കേണ്ടത് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ സോ എ മൂവി യെസ്റ്റർഡേ The movie was a very exciting one. I said a movie in the first sentence because that was the first time I was talking to you about that movie. But in the second sentence I just said the article the just before the same noun movie because that was in the first time I was talking to you about that movie. That movie is not at all unknown to you anymore because I just mentioned it in the last sentence. I planted a tree in my garden last year. The tree has now grown big. So in the first sentence I used a tree as it was the first time I was talking to you about that tree. And I used the in the second sentence as that tree was not at all unknown to you anymore as I told to you about that in the last sentence. I told you that you should only use the article a or an with a singular noun. But what should we use in the case of plural noun? In the case of plural nouns, you can use the exact number to mention them. For example, I planted four trees last year. Those trees have now grown big. In the first sentence, when I mentioned the noun to you for the first time, I used the exact number of the noun as four trees. And in the second sentence, as the noun is known to you now, I used those trees. So that's how we should mention plural nouns in our sentences and paragraph. And now let's move on to the rule number 4. Use the articles a or an to talk about a non-specific thing or a person. വ്യക്തമല്ലാത്ത എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു കാര്യത്തെ ചൂണ്ടിക്കാണിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്ന ആർട്ടിക്കിൾ ആണ് a യും ആനും. നമുക്ക് കുറച്ച് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് കൂടി നോക്കാം. അപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാകും. Please give me a hammer and a nail. Here I didn't mention any specific hammer or a specific nail. I just need a hammer and a nail. No matter which hammer or which nail you are giving me. That is known as unspecific. Please give me the hammer and the nail which I brought yesterday. In this sentence I'm asking for a specific nail and a specific hammer. Here I'm asking you for the hammer and the nail which I brought yesterday. So when we need to mention anything that is specific in our sentence or our paragraph the article that we should use in it is the Here are some more examples which will make you more familiar with this Do you have a pencil And do you have a pencil which Kathy gave you Here in this sentence I'm asking for the specific pencil which Kathy gave you I need a book to read In this sentence I haven't mentioned which specific book I need. I just need a book to read. It can be any book with any title which is written by any author. But in the second sentence we can see that I need the autobiography of Helen Keller to read. In this sentence we can see that I mentioned a specific sort of book. I need only autobiographies to read. So there is a specification that is coming in the sentence and the article that we should use is the definite article the apo fourth rule ellarku manasilayen nan vishwasikunu endarunu fourth rule nammal non specific aayittu endengilum oru karyam parayagiyanengil adinu munnile aayittu cherakkanda article edanu a um anum nammal singular nouns inde kooda ubhayogikkunna adhe article aayittulla a um anum aanu non specific aayittulla karyangalukku munnil aayittu ubhayogikkanadu in specific aayittulla karyangale kurichi parayagiyanengilo adinu munnil ubhayogikkanda article aanu definite article aayittulla the ദ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു ഡെഫിനറ്റ് ആർട്ടിക്കൽ ആണ് അത് സിംഗുലർ നോണിൻ്റെ കൂടിയും പ്ലൂറൽ നോണിൻ്റെ കൂടിയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സ്പെസിഫിക് നോൺസിൻ്റെ കൂടിയും നമുക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാം റൂൾ നമ്പർ ഫൈവ് 
Use A or N to mention the category or the type of a person or a thing. One or two or one or one or two or one or two or one or two or one or two or one or two. Here is a small exercise for you to insert the article A or N in each sentence. If you have a few questions, you can answer the question in each article. That is A or N. Then we will go to the questions. First question, I am teacher. The noun in this sentence is teacher. If the noun is a singular, the article that would come in front of it will be A or N. Here the noun teacher is singular, so the article that would come in front of it will be either N or A. Here the noun teacher starts with a consonant sound T. If the starting sound of a noun is a consonant sound, then the article that will come in front of it will be A. So the correct format of this sentence will be I'm a teacher. If you have a question, I am teacher. In this sentence, the noun is a teacher. Teacher is a singular or plural. Singular. Singular is a noun. Article is a noun. This sentence 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 is a noun. That is, a consonant sound is a noun. We will use the article A. So, this sentence is where we are going to do. I am a teacher. Now, let's move on to the second question. He is Irishman. The noun Irishman is a singular noun. So, the article that will come in front of it will be either A or N. Now, let's look at the starting sound of the noun. Here, the word Irishman starts with a vowel sound, I. So, the article that will come in front of it will be N. The article N should be used before a word which starts with a vowel sound. So, the sentence will be in the format, He is an Irish man. Let's move on to the next question. He worked as cashier for two years. Here, in this sentence, the noun cashier is a singular noun. So, the article that will come in front of it will be either A or N. The starting sound of the noun cashier is K. As it is a consonant sound, the article that will come in front of it will be A. So, the correct format of the sentence will be He worked as a cashier for two years. So, for easy understanding and all, we can tell like the indefinite articles A or N is used to show the membership of something in a group. Just like we read in the exercise, I am a teacher. Here, I am trying to show my membership in a particular group called teachers. So, for easy understanding, we can tell that the indefinite articles A or N is used to show the membership of a person or a thing in a group. Now, we will talk about this rule in a different way. How do you think about the indefinite articles A and N? One of them is the membership of a person in a group. We will talk about the two articles in a group. Let's talk about the two articles in a group. That's why we have to say that we have to say that I am a teacher in an exam. Teacher in the group in Agatala, in the membership of Karnika and Vendi Turner, Nanavade A and Allah article, Ubio Ekanada. Ada, I am a teacher. A Padapola Tene or Aldeo, Alinga Vastu Indeo, or a group of membership of Karnika and Vendi Turnamka, article Saitala Aum, Anum, Ubio Ekanari. So, hope you get this rule. Now, let's move on to the next rule. Rule number six. Generalize with plurals or uncountable nouns with no articles. In this role, we will talk about the plural nouns and uncountable nouns. We will talk about the articles and the general articles. Here, the first example, teachers should be friendly to children. Here, we are not talking about a particular teacher or a particular student. We are referring to all the teachers should be friendly to all the children. So, there is no need of any article to support them. In this example, we will talk about teachers and students who are friendly. Now, we will talk about one teacher and one student. We will talk about one teacher and one student. We will talk about all teachers should be friendly to all the children. We will talk about all teachers and all students. We will talk about all teachers and all students. We will talk about all teachers and all students. We will not talk about any article. That's the example of this article. Okay, now let's move on to the second example. 
Dolphins are very intelligent. Here the noun dolphins are plural. Here we're not focusing on a particular dolphin or a group of dolphins. We are referring to all the dolphins. We are saying that all the dolphins are intelligent. That's all. Now let's move to the third example. The third example is exercise is good for health. In this example, both exercise and health are uncountable nouns. And this statement is a general truth. So, we did not need any articles to support them. That's all. Now let's move on to the next rule. Rule number seven. Use no articles in these situations. Articles in the situation is not in these situations. That's why we are going to talk about this rule. The important point in this is do not use articles before proper nouns. We don't say a John, the Jack, etc. We just say their names without any articles. Do the same for the names of the places too. We should not say like uh, the Germany, the Rome, the Asia, etc. But however, there are some places which have the with their names. I'll tell you which all are those places. The United States, the United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates, the West Indies, the Middle East, the Netherlands, the Himalayas. These are some of the places which have the with their names. The second point is that we do not use articles with the name of games and languages. Let's look at some examples. We do not say the football, the cricket, the badminton and all. We just say football, badminton, cricket, tennis, etc. And if you take the language names too, we do not say the Spanish, the French, the English and all. We just say French, Spanish, English, etc. The third point is that there are some expressions which do not need the support of articles at all. Some of them are given here. Travel by bus, car, bike, rickshaw, taxi, etc. The next one is at noon, at night. Next one is on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And the next one is at home, at work, at school, at company, etc. The places can differ according to the situation. So, from today's class, we learned how to use the articles A or N in a sentence and a paragraph. We haven't learned much about the definite article THE in today's session, but don't worry. Our next class will be uploaded soon, which will help you to know more about the usage of the definite article THE. So, that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to practice your lessons, and I'll be back with a new class the very next day. Bye. See you. For more classes, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, Simple English Tutor.